So we've had a uh, bit of a change of plans. We are now currently at a caravan park in La Cola. So big reason why we decided to do this was weather's very unpredictable the last, well, it's probably more last night than anything. 100 kilometer an hour gusts with 50 to 60 kilometer an hour winds. And Chris wild. and I were Absolutely both sitting wild. there visualizing the tree next to us falling on the caravan. And we're like, <laughs> It was it was pretty full on. I I don't think we've ever had that high of a wind mm. like yet. It was actually quite scary and daunting to a certain extent because we had some really big trees around us and whatnot. Mm. Uh, that's probably our biggest fear is a, like a branch coming off and going straight through the van. There's nothing that can save you from that that instance. But yeah, we thought bugger if the weather's going to be this average and this unpredictable the whole time, let's just go somewhere that's a little bit more safe, I guess. Uh, somewhere that's got reception so we can catch up on stuff. That's the other thing, we're on the verge of reception, which is really nice, but this is an online business. This is part of the reason we moved to, like with the rain last night where we were, would just not be good Ideal. for wet weather. Yeah. Um, it was, no, it was lovely, but the ground was quite soft and everything. And if we couldn't get out, it would have been like a real... A mission. It could have been a, a very... <laughs> yeah. Um, Sticky situation. Yeah, and we also. don't want that. No. Oh. We'd rather just do the right thing, get out early and yeah, save ourselves from any situations like that. So we've got cups of tea going. We've got a pork roast on the Ziggy. The weather is absolutely out of control. It is blowing so hard here right now. It's raining, it's overcast. It was actually sunny done, only five minutes ago. I'm really hoping this pork roast there. maintains heat and uh, can crackle up for us and we can have a nice family dinner tonight. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know how this is all going to pan out. We've got our easy anchor straps on. So hoping they save this awning because it's going to be a bloody good test at the moment. Victoria, eh? this is Victoria weather. Four seasons in one day. I never thought I'd ever see it. But it's true, it happens. Is it looking alright? It's going down. It's going down. Here comes the thick rain. It's still lit. No. That's the main thing. Can we bring it in? Oh my Let's God. bring it here. <laughs> She's rambling up. Let's bring it in, babe. Right on. Let's do it. <laughs> this is a new way to use your outdoor kitchen on a zone. Oh no, you're blocking off the gas. This wasn't planned. Undo it. We'll just have to relight it. That's better than it sitting in the rain. Jack's losing his marbles because we told him to shut the door before because Dad had a hot barbecue in his hand so he shut it and he didn't like it. Like that barbecue. Yep. What temper are we at? Still at 200. Oh, 200. Still haven't right. too much. Let's just move this. Move that so it's like dead center for the heat, just in case. I reckon it'll be right. Look at that, that's awesome. Well, it's good to know we can even do this. <laughs> we couldn't have done this in the old van, we wouldn't have had an option. Well, it's funny because technically we shouldn't have been able to do this, but it wasn't until I think you went out and bought the cable. Yeah, and it was three one, meters. One of us bought it, it was a, the only one they had, it was a three meter, but it's worked out pretty bloody well. Like, it's the perfect length to obviously put it on the table and do that. So how good is that? Winning. Awesome. I can hear it crackling. <laughs> so fingers crossed this might be the difference between having a really good pork or a pretty average pork. Because if it stays it? out there, it's gonna be it's not gonna be great. Hear it? It's a good sound to come from a pork roast. Yes! Could, Could be, be right. It. Could be it. Is it going up? Yeah, it's going up. Yeah. Well it's perfect now because the wind can't really get too far in behind it. Yeah. It's, it's, they're normally pretty good in the wind, but like today it's going this way, it's going that way, it's going around, it's doing all sorts of crazy you can't stuff. Pick it. It's just wild weather. It's raining, it's sunny. It's, it's not just, wild weather, it's Victorian it's weather. It's Victoria. For us, it's wild weather and <laughs> the rest of Australia, Victoria, I'll tell you what, I don't know how you guys deal with this day in, day out. It's wild. How do you even cook a roast? <laughs> yes, yes, Inside. You do this. Yeah. <laughs> Another good handy reason why we've got an outdoor kitchen. It's coming in. Really handy. Perfect. Oh, look, we're in the red. How good is that? It's the highest we've been. So how, how perfect is that? Just tidy it up a little bit. 
goes all the way down under the stairs so nobody gets tripped up up over over into the bayonet perfect I'm so glad that we figured this out because this is definitely going to come in handy further on down the track I can just see it now because there's times where you got the slide out, you got the ziggy out, you're cooking away, then all of a sudden this can happen, or it's super windy or something. It's very exposed. So it's as handy as it is and how helpful it is, it's sometimes it just doesn't doesn't cut it. <laughs> Uncovering my double <laughs> He just went to hide. <laughs> Are you trying to film it? Oh I got it. <laughs> What's the weather doing now, though? I don't know. I can't see past my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually sunny and the wind has died down and the pork roast is so hot it's out of the red because it's gone past it. Like. So we've now well and truly passed the red. It's that hot. And the sun's out. How bloody crazy is that? There's like even patches of blue sky out there now. Sun's out. That was... Out. Seriously, that was just hooking in, sideways rain, windy as all hell, and now it's all gone. I'm not kidding either, that was like seven minutes ago maybe? You could literally Max? put a timer out here and just film the whole yeah. thing and just watch it. And be like, what do you mean it'd it be changed within, that quick? Within ten minutes it would be from sunny to blowing its ass off. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm still on the same cup of tea, I'm only halfway through my cup of tea that was full before. Like, that's how fast that changed. Oh. On. Bloody Victoria, you're going to hear me say that a few times. There's a new uh, drinking game for you. Bloody Victoria. I'm going to do a very quick check. I'm feeling confident, but I want to make sure <laughs> how's the craggle going. Here we go. It's going to be a really quick one. Oh my goodness. Does that not look amazing? That has literally made the difference to bring it in here, away from that wind, out of the rain. We have crackle. <laughs> it's possible. I always get questions. How do you get crackle in your Ziggy? How do you get it so perfect? My key is just ramp it up as high as you can. Try and get it as high as you can on that temperature gauge into the red, if not past it, and then throw it in and just forget about it for at least an hour. If you're doing any sort of roast from a Woolworths, they're around about that kilo mark, if not bigger. So you, you can smash that thing for half, like a good hour and get that crackle really going. Because that's the key is really high temps is to get that crackle really crispy and just absolutely perfect. That is on point. I can already see it getting to that nice hard crispy bit. God, it makes me excited. We haven't had a pork roast in a bloody long time. And to do it in the new Ziggy too, the Ziggy Nomad, makes me excited. We've christened it with a pork roast and we've absolutely nailed it. So, cannot wait to show you this one. My mouth's watering. It's absolutely watering. I can't wait. There it is. Look at it. Incredible. Ready? That is perfection right there. We nailed it. Bringing that thing in here has made all the difference. Yeah, that really did. That's like a lifesaver. Like, we couldn't have done that in the old banks. It just would have sat out in the weather and yeah. probably just never got to that point. 100%. Like, that kitchen has just paid for itself to have proper, proper yeah. crackle. Get the Ziggy out of the weather. Amazing. Woo! Excited for this one. So Sean's looking after the roast pork inside. We've just now put our veggies on. A few potatoes, carrots. 
way for them to crisp it up. We actually use the fat from out of the pork to put in there as well. So uh, once they're ready, we are good to go. Hi. Are you excited, Jack, for pork? Yeah. Yeah. Pork belly. Oh, it's like pork belly, but better. It's like pork belly. <laughs> so just we got all the pork fat in the bottom there. So basically, just trying to deep fry these in a sense. Or shallow you fry just them. crisp them up. Yeah, just get a nice crispy outside. We've not really done it with the pork fat before though, so I don't. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Oh, I don't weird. really know how it's gonna go because um, I know you can do it with like duck fat and stuff. So I assume. Oh, it's the same, same setup. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of extra time, time and turning. And all these um, little bits that come falling off, they will go crunchy. So. Mm. We're trying to trying to do uh, Paul and Annie justice. Paul and Annie spec. You hear Jack, he's crying because swear, he's so excited every, to get food. Every time I get the camera out, you whinge. Oh you always toys. whinge. You want your toys? Well, they're over here. You come and get them. Do you want to see how lazy he's being right now? He's like, I can't get them. I can't get them. Hang on. I can't reach them. They're so far away. I can't do it. He knows he's being watched. He's like, I have to go get them. <laughs> you got two legs and a heartbeat, mate. Yeah, can you do it now? It's more of like a like a slow. Yep. Yep. Yeah, go one more. Cool. I'll be able to use one of them for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. So what I'm gonna do is do a slow pan like this, just as you're doing it, mm. and because then the next shot will be here pulling away, and you're gonna put a thing on it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just go. Yeah, chunky gravy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start doing this and then go, yep. And then I want you to come in and put it down. Do you know what I mean? And then walk out. And then the bow bird's on. Okay. Okay. Wee, wee. So the veggies came out nice and crispy. The meat is cooked to perfection. And that crackle, I tell you what, on point. Ziggy for the win. Looks bloody amazing. Dinner is served. up today this morning we're doing something that we didn't think we'd be do doing we're doing oh, no, well we've done something that we've already hey. done but we're in a different way in a different hey. way from a different direction hey, come on. You're the snow? going to the snow yeah you're already giving it away jack yeah so we're going we're actually heading out today we're heading to the pinnacles so if anyone doesn't know the Pinnacles, it's quite a pinnacle spot. The East Pinnacle. The East Pinnacle. So it's a very, very high point. I think it's 14... 1445 meters. 1445 meters above sea level. So pretty damn high. And the good thing about the weather that's around at the moment, it's actually going to be able to give us the opportunity to maybe see snow. Maybe. So as, as much as it's horrible and wet and miserable, 
Um, there's been reports that there's snow up on the on the mountains from about 900 up. I think it said this morning. Yeah, right? whenever you read the weather reports, it says from 900 meters there's snow. So and it's 14:45. So I'm hopeful. Yeah, but um, the track we took last time, the Billy Goats Bluff track. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing that in this weather because no. that would be quite hectic. Um, Snow chains on a four-wheel drive track or something. Oh, seriously, yeah. But that's how you, you access it from Dargo side. So we're coming from the west side, from La Cola, and the roads the roads are meant to be a, a lot better or a lot more accessible from this side. So they're more of a main road from this side. It's about the only reason we're going to tackle it today is because it's not too hectic, it's not too full-on, um, where we can Don't drive stand. most of the way there. So, Kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> So that, to speak. That's the plan today, this morning. We're going to try and get out there, um, have a look. Fingers crossed we check out some snow at the same time. Mm. Um, but this is also a recon drive too for possibly a day trip from the camp out as well. So yeah. Yeah. lots going on. I'm very hopeful that we get to see the white stuff if we do. More it'll than, be fresh falling if we do too. Like It'll be actually falling, yeah. which is a whole nother level again. Like we've seen the snow, but it wasn't snowing. Yeah. So to be seeing snow as it's snowing would be just magic, absolute magic. So fingers crossed we catch up with the white stuff today um, and we get <laughs> there and back safely. Some other people would say that for different reasons. Yes, they would. Um, oh, gosh. So that's the plan today. And as usual, we'll take you along for the ride and see what we get up to. Say no, by the way. Say no to the white stuff. Yeah. Wait, wait. I just, he had short sleeves on, so I've double shirted him. Oh, yeah. Technically his is in the snow jacket. Yeah. So I just got an extra layer. Ah. You're looking good, mate. <laughs> He's cute. Hey. I love those boots. They were from Rachel's wedding. Yeah, I know. What do you want this time, huh? They weren't cheap, but they're getting good use, so they're justifying the price. I waterproofed them as well. Yeah. Oh, can I show you how the waterproofer works? It's so cool. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that. Hey. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, lovely. All right, let's go in the car. Let's go hunting for snow. Oh, get more. It is very wild weather, even for the Victorians and locals down here. This way. Um, they're saying that this is just very out of character. It's not the same, it's not normal. It's not like this time of year. It's coming into summer and it's like winter conditions. It's cold, it's wet, it's overcast. It's just, yeah. what do you do? Mother Nature's a bit crazy at the moment. All you can do is just go with the flow make the most of it. It's exactly what we're doing today. It's better than sitting in the caravan all day and just doing absolutely nothing really. I'm just making sure that I've turned everything off because I've already locked it. <laughs> I put the hatch fan on and I've opened that window just a smidge because there's a bit of condensation in there because we've had the heater going full ball and everything shut. We haven't even had like the window open to stop the condensation because it's that cold. Yeah. So yeah, you can see in the window. Yeah, it's just a jar. Just like especially the door. The door almost yeah, gets it. Look at that. And then just the bottom of the windows, you can see it like just here. The bottoms. Yeah, it's gonna be foggy. Yeah, so I've put the exhaust fan on um, and just open that one window a tad. So hopefully that'll just keep the moisture out, it'll dry up by the time we're back and we're good to go again. Happy days. Oh by the way, don't mind my double sunnies, if you've noticed. Just um I had one pair on yesterday and then the other pair and they both made it to the van and this is the way I'd remember to take them to the car. <laughs> what are we going to see, Jack? No. The no. No. The big snow. Yeah. Yeah. Where is Come it? Come off, get out the window. Where are you excited? Where is yeah. it? Yeah. I'm trying to get a bug off the window. We're just driving past our old campsite where we didn't stay because of those crazy winds and we thought, oh, we'll just come and have a look. And you should see the river now. It's hectic. It's like brown and just what how many meters up you reckon that is probably another two foot i reckon i'm not talking about measurements <laughs> i've given up <laughs> it's raging it's absolutely raging and just brown horrible like those rapidy bits in the front there they weren't there before it's funny because obviously no one's even been here yet because our firewood is still there with the extra log and everything <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah. It, wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be very entertaining or fun. It's not been the best camping weather. The weather's been absolutely but. horrible. 
as we drove past before, we actually drove past and it looked like it was actually the site that was under. I was like, oh my God, we have to go have a look, but it wasn't that bad. But yeah, anyway, carrying on. Let's see if we can find the snow. So we're on our way. It's still only about 10 degrees. I think we're 480 meters up and the road behind us has just gone to gravel. So Chris is just letting his tires down just to be safe. This is actually the worst road we've seen yet in Victoria. It's actually got corrugations. It's the first corrugations we've seen in ages. We're jokingly saying it's like being in Kununurra. And as you can see, Chris has his boots on. I'm wearing shoes. Oh my God. There's a first for everything. The Queenslander is gone. For now. <laughs> it's nine degrees, potential snow. I have to be smart. But <laughs> <laughs> they're waterproof, they're everything, they're like, they're like life proof, so. Yeah, we'll see how they go. So I'm just letting these tyres down, about 25. It's like a, a nice safe sort of level. Like Sean was just saying, bulk corrugations, but if it does get a bit, you know, sort of wet and snowy and bits and pieces like that, it'll help us in that situation too. Um, so it's just, yeah, beneficial just to drop it now and then we don't have to worry about it until we come back off the dirt. Just driving along, and there's a full waterfall on the side of the road. It's so pretty. <laughs> that is really cool. Look out your window, Jack. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. It goes like under the road. That's really cool. That's like total cut in our respect, just driving along and then bang, there's a waterfall out of nowhere. Yeah, but alpine version. Yeah. There you go. The That's beauty cool. of the high country. So far this road has been a bit average. The bloody average. corrugations are next level. They're like speed hump after speed hump after speed hump with then a like what would you call it, a rutted out bed because of the water running through it and then it's rocky. Like, yeah, it's so pretty... a lot of different surfaces going on. Yeah. Because they always get a... Well, they've obviously had a fair bit of rain up, you know, but then the water's got to run down somewhere. So, yeah, it's creating ruts. It's exposing and rocks. It's a logging road as well. Yeah, so... it's very heavily driven. Yeah. And you can tell that straight away. Oh, there's a rock on the road. Yeah. There's lots of rocks that seem to have just come off the side of the mountain, like... Yeah, there's a lot of signs saying beware of falling rocks, especially with all the rain again. Like, it's amazing how much the rain, there's like little mini landslides everywhere. It's amazing how much the uh, the rain affects so much. Yeah. Especially on roads like this where they've literally just been cut into the side of a mountain. And it's, you got to have your wits about you, drive to conditions, and just, yeah, take your time. Um, so... <laughs> We've got, I don't know, another 10 minutes up the road from when we last spoke to you. We're at, what, 1140 and it's snowing. Well, it's not snowing. Not there snowing, is, but... There is snow on the side of the road. That was like nothing and then all of a sudden it's like, bang, white. <laughs> wow! I wasn't expecting to see it that early. No, neither. It's literally loot at all. <laughs> Look at it up here. No way. Look up in the mountain, up ahead of us. Wow. Look at that. It's all, I can't wow. believe that. I can't believe it just happened that quick. I have to put my jump so that's, on now. that's like optimal conditions right now. That That's here now. We're going to 1500 meters above sea level. We've still got another two, what, what 300 and... 30 meters they to weren't go. far off they said 900 it's only 1100 and there's already snow well it's only that this will be what's left of probably what melted that's what i'm saying like it's, it's been like only, this last couple of days so. it can only get better now because that's already here already so low hey. wow hey. can I'm you like, see the snow jack i'm blown away uh, <laughs> it's actually really soft like it, it doesn't feel like it's been there long it's soft, but I just Dad? made it hard by squishing Dad. it together. It tastes good too. <laughs> mm. Oh, yummy. Go get nice? the drive, I'll get some footage. Is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get much fresher. Straight from the sky.
It's really puffy, isn't it? It is. It looks quite fresh. Yeah. Yeah, it's your feast. Look. Make big feet. Oh, listen to it. Wow, it's so soft. Walking on this is like weird. It's like a pillow. Come and have a walk, Jada. Oh, that's so soft. Ooh. Oh wow. my god. That is just like powder. It is, it's different, eh? No, 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 no. I've got a camera in my hand. Wow. Wow. Touch the yellow snow. Is there really yellow snow? Yeah. Oh, someone's been here. <laughs> Yucky. Speaking of yellow snow, I need to go make my own yellow snow. Do you just? I do, I actually. You, you just want to see what it looks like to we in snow. No, I do. <laughs> go on then. Off you go. It'll steam. Because it's hot. It's so fluffy. It's like proper fresh. It's not old, that's for sure. Oh wow, look, there's a knife in the tree. It's like a, what you wish you'd get in a snow cone. It looks like the same knife from bloody Wee Jasper. What? Oh, why's that there? Oh, don't know. That's well in there too. Oh, How did yeah. that get in there? There's a crack in it. Wow. Interesting. It's like your bum, it's got a crack in it. Lovely. <laughs> How is your wee? Good. I feel did much it go yellow? Now. Yes, it did. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as yellow. Oh, okay. Because I'm hydrated. Did it steam? No? Did it melt? Um, it melt the snow, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. I have no idea what I'm walking through because I can't see what's underneath it. It feels like bushes. Oh, look. Is that a footprint? Someone else has been through here. That's weird. At least we're not at Wanangatta Station. This is insane. It's full on. There's tracks right? everywhere. It's like a winter wonderland. I'm using ice mode again. I didn't think I'd be using this again anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> this is insane. This is, I almost don't even know what to say. Crazy. It's just full on. Wow. Did not expect this whatsoever. This is the main road that we're next to just here. So we're only about halfway on our journey, but I just don't think we can do it. If we go any further up there and it gets worse or it's icy, especially with like the conditions up this way, you know, you don't really want to just slip off a cliff. Like, <laughs> cause that's literally what it is. All right, it, it could get pretty hairy pretty quick. Like it's not to the point where you need snow chains or anything like that. It's it's quite slushy. Yeah. Tires are down. There's still a dirt, dirt underneath the road. Like it's good. It's still all running away. There's little rivers everywhere. All the icy like clear yeah. water and that. It's lovely. But still, you just, we're alone, you know? There's yeah, no well, phone service. That's the flip side too. Yeah. But um, in saying that, like literally not even halfway yet. Mm. <laughs> and I, I can't see this getting too much further if it's already starting like this. This is, I can't, still can't believe how much snow there already is. 
and it's, we're not even that far. Like Chris is just talking right now. I'm going to show you what's on the other side. I'm just standing here staring. I can't get over it. It, yeah. It's like the this Australian is, outback, but it's white. It's high country, 110 percent. Like getting the best experience right now. Cannot believe it. If you live in Victoria <laughs> and you haven't seen this before, I highly recommend you come for a drive one day just to come and have a touch it, look at it, just feel it, Honestly. watch the clumps of snow fall off the trees. It sounds like there's someone walking around in the bush behind you and you're by yourself. You're like, oh, don't say that. No, it really, it does. It was freaking me out before. But then I realized it's all the snow clumps and stuff. I'm like, what's that? Oh, oh it's man. snow falling out of the tree. But anyway, um, I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's crazy because there's still little birds chirping, flying around. You've got the gum trees, there's snow falling from the leaves. It's dead quiet. Ugh. Seriously, serenity plus. I can't believe Australian animals can live in this. There's like little like fairy wrens and stuff floating around, like crazy. Is this the UK? Because it feels like it. Could it. Be in a, it could be literally another country right now. Last time I saw snow like this was in England. Many, many years ago. So cool. All right, what are we doing then? Back to camp or? Might go for a little bit further and then we might turn around and then right. get these kids out they can make snowmen's and stuff because they're yeah they're hanging hanging the hanging hanging crap hanging. out of me <laughs> look at that ice sludge <laughs> are you loving this mm -hmm. yeah i mm -hmm. just saw uh, i just saw a yellow patch of snow oh someone had a wee what do you reckon jack is it good yeah yeah? Do you love the snow? Yeah. Yeah. So we've made it. We're at the pinnacle. Car's behind me. Jack's actually asleep at the moment. So Chris is going to stay in the car. I'll leave them off while I talk to you actually. Um, Chris is going to stay in the car real quickly. Uh, he's going to make us some lunch and that. And Jade and I are just going to walk up to the pinnacle again. Figured we made it this far. We may as well go up and actually have a look. Um, I'm curious whether you'll be able to see any snow from here because Mount Hotham is directly north of here, so apparently it was snowing there, so you should be able to see it, but I don't know. We'll go for a wander and have a look. Why couldn't we have gone to Mount Hotham? It would be snowing. It's too hard to get there. Why you ready? We're going to go walk up to the pinnacle. Yes, I don't remember it. Let's go. You don't remember it. Oh, yeah, You'll I remember, remember when you get there. Yeah, it's like the fire thing. Yeah, that's it. You a bit puffed? Ooh, nearly there. This track is so sketchy. <laughs> like, it's just straight down on both sides. As you can hear, I'm out of breath because of all the stairs. <laughs> oh. It's windy. It's cold. But we made it. Are we going to stay for the camp out? Because I feel like it's in one of these green areas. It's not. It's so long away from here. Oh, I thought it was there. I'm just starting to get my breath back. It was a bloody walk and a half. I remembered it. Like once I started, I'm like, oh, that's right. This is what it's like. It's actually different this time. They've got the um, windows open on the fire watch tower. So you can actually see in the windows. And they've got like a compass in there. So... I guess if something happened and there was a fire, they can go, you know, do have many degrees south of whatever point, you know? I don't sound very professional. Due north at 360 oh, wow. degrees. All that's in there is a fire extinguisher, a cleaning thing to clean the windows, a first aid kit, a desk with two chairs, and like a little pencil thing that's hanging. 
because that's where someone works. They'll work there during summer and tell us if there's a fire. They'll be here soon. Can you see the um, compass up the top? Where's the compass? See the numbers? Oh yeah, the numbers. Yeah. So that's if and they see a fire, they can say it was at 250 degrees to the west. Hmm. How would they um communicate with them though? Oh wow, see they've got all the little black lines on there as well. That says the names. You can't read them from here, but you can tell what things are then. Oh yeah. So pretty much the whole way round, you can't see snow in any direction apart from where we came from. So I really think we've been really lucky to see the snow we did see today. We were gonna drive a different way home and do kind of like a loop, but we've decided to go back the same way so the kids can make snowmans. And um, we saw a few good places for a camp. So we're gonna go double check them and possibly head there with the van next, which I think will be pretty cool. The first place that we saw, it had like a, shed thing where it had like a hill for cows to get up in a the cattle truck. yard cattle yard there was a little gap there maybe we could camp in there and then there's heaps of snow there and stuff maybe we could camp there it just depends the though because the weather's supposed to be getting better which means yeah which means that we can't camp there and the snow will disappear there won't be any more snow so i don't know if weather conditions are saying that there's going to be more snow maybe we will if there isn't maybe we won't i don't know what is that thing there that's a marker and that marks the peak of a mountain. So this is the peak. So, Look, see there's a little marker on the bottom of it as well. So that'll be where they measured the 445 meters above sea level. Oh, so from here all the way down to the sea level? Yep, right where that marker is. The clouds are moving, which makes it feel like it's falling over. Yeah. So you maybe see in the distance around here, there's a bit of snow. And the other bit at the moment is kind of here-ish, but it's being covered by the, um, what are they called? Clouds. Oh my God, clouds. So that's where we came from today. And that's where we'll be going back. Oh, and then over here as well, there's some here, if you can see that. But um, it's all in the general direction of um, where we just came from. So we'll go drive back through that and um, show you what we get up to. I'm hoping by the time we get back down the bottom that Chris has made lunch. We had leftovers of our pork roast that we made the other night. So he brought them along, along with a few veggies and stuff and salad and um, the cooker as well. So I think he's just doing wraps and I'll have salad with some pork, but yeah, it will be good. Having? Same. Oh. Yeah. Wraps for everyone. So I got back down, <laughs> jumpers off, no, beanies no. off. It's bloody warm now. No. And um, Chris is cooking up a storm. So we got ourselves a little picnic table oh, here. Well. Salad, wraps, cheese, leftover meat and veggies and stuff. We're doing very similar to what yeah. we did the other day, but yeah. leftover oh. roast pork. Always yeah. comes in handy. It does. And again, hey, the cooker. Do, the bloody cooker. It does everything. It's seriously the best thing. If you do day trips and stuff like this, I can't recommend it more. Anaconda, check it out. Is it yummy? Mm hmm. Yeah? My one not done. Everything no, about it. one's still coming, Jack. Num num. <laughs> yeah, Nothing like a nice hot meal at the top of the pinnacles. Huh? Good way to warm up. Yeah, perfect. Num, 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 num. That's his. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's going to be the best one yet, Jada. Oh, she's perfect. Do a little, yeah, do a head on her before you get up. Halo. Yeah, do the halo. Oh no, Jack, don't stand on the angel's head. Go, go, go. Run, run,
Well, if you didn't capture the drone footage... Well, they would have. I think most would have caught up on that one. But it's official. <laughs> I finally did it. I told you I was going to do it. Somewhere <laughs> iconic and amazing. This is it. My fiance. <laughs> Does that sound weird, doesn't it? Well, you can say it to me as well. My fiance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Love you. I said I was going to deliver it, and I delivered. Right? The Show him the came. ring. Show him the ring. <laughs> is it? Oh, it wants to look at me. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Official, hey? Love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> I didn't have a clue. We were just doing some drone shots and family shots, and we're talking about getting a thumbnail photo for the episode. And then he gave the drone remote to Jada. I'm like, <laughs> maybe he's gonna, maybe he just wants one with his arms up or something, because he never really gets to do that. It's normally us, because he's got the drone remote. And Jada's like, why am I holding this? <laughs> and he didn't give it any direction or anything, and I'm thinking, what is going on here? And then he went down, I was like, no. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. So I, even yeah. though we have cameras out all the time, even I didn't know it was coming. I think that was the key though, because we always do have cameras out all the time. It's like, you just don't expect it. It could be at any, any point. And I was like, I was driving here and I'm thinking, geez. How am I going to do this? It's definitely going to be the drone. I've talked about coming back here and getting some shots in the snow. That's going to be the time to do it. And it was just like processing how I'm going to do it. And then it was like, all right, cool. This is a nice little spot over here. Get the family shot. Here you go, Jada. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the knee and bang, we're in. Done. <laughs> I was like, are you nervous? He's like, yeah, I was nervous. So I think in the time you were just like, Jada, take the remote. Oh my God, I have to do this. Like It was funny because my hands were shaking. So nobody, oh. nobody would have picked up on it because it's bloody cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there you go. We're official. Hey? For everybody that's out there and said, come on, when are you doing it? When is it happening? It's right here. Today. High country, in the snow, doesn't get much bloody better. In pure Virgo form, not only is it an iconic <laughs> location, a one of a kind location and memorable, it's also 22 11 22. <laughs> <laughs> not planned well, at not all. Not planned at all. No. <laughs> God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh. we we'll have to call some family when we get back. Yeah. I really hope we got reception when we get yeah. back. <laughs> the reception's been in and out of town, so we'll be like, oh, we want to tell you. We, we have can't. it one day, we don't have it the next. We got it the next day, we don't have it the next after that. It's like, oh God, I hope today it's, it's there. Oh, you gotta get used to seeing that on the fingernail. We're gonna look after it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh well. Right on, let's get out of here. Let's get yep. bloody cold. Get back, have a celebratory drink. You're, oh, hang on. Does that mean that you're allowed to have a drink tonight? I'm having an alcoholic beverage yeah. tonight. <laughs> I think it calls for a special occasion. <laughs> yeah, this week's going pretty average, so what was I just talking? <laughs> <laughs> what <Right>. better way? <laughs> Let's go. You're a shit at times, but I do love you. You always have. It's... Are you sure that's what you want? Yeah? I still want to keep the old one though. Yeah, you can still keep everything. It just means it'll be added into your name. That's it. Yeah? <laughs> what a... What a day! <laughs> what, did you just, what did you just ask me? I asked Dad if he, if he wanted to adopt me. I just like want to cry. I'm just like, what the hell is today? <laughs> I've just got like huge goosebumps right now. I don't even know how to deal. <laughs> I am now legally Jada Rose Barnard Crawford. Not quite yet, but soon well, if you yet. want to do that. Well, not yet when mum and dad get married. You can do it, yeah. You can do it whatever date you want. You can you do, do it whenever. On our wedding day, or you can do it before that, you can do it anytime. <laughs> well, not only was I planning something and then what a, what the hell? 
Yeah, Jade is like, I've been wanting to ask us for a long time, so I think today's a good day. Dad, <laughs> like just in the back of the car, we're like, what? What? And I, already, and I said, this is hard for me to ask. That's cool. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What? <laughs> I could just cry. Like, well, that, you know what's really funny is the, even this morning I said, oh my God, I could like cry today because today's just like so cool with the snow and that. And then... Now I'm a fiance and you want to be adopted. It's like a, it's a cool day. Hmm. I always thought you were crying. Yeah, but it's a happy cry, so it's okay. <laughs> I always thought that the day that mum and dad get married or ma a dad asks mum to marry her, I'd always ask. That I've, that's always been my plan. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. You just let One big in. moment after another big moment. What a day, eh? <laughs> what a bloody day. We're having a celebrate re beverage later. Holy hell. <laughs> For so many reasons, Jada. <laughs> Holy bloody moly. This whole family is getting married. <laughs> Literally. Basically. I don't get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bound together. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't either. I was actually <laughs> struggling to ask Dad what, what that. What a day. Like... Not only is today happened, like just a general normal day in the high country in the snow, having a, the best time, and then a ring and now an adoption. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, high country is going to be very memorable, that's for sure. Did you sure. actually say yes? Who? You. Did you actually say yes, I will adopt you? Yes, I will adopt you, yes. <laughs> it's my turn <laughs> to say yes. <laughs> Yeah. Sean said yes, and now I've said yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay. Well, this looks... What? Oh, are you trying to get me in it? I was trying to get out of your way and you're following me. Why are you following me? Just wants to get picking your face up. I'm just chilling. Elongating my neck. Is there a double chin? No. It's better if you look at me. Hey legends, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends. If you need more of a Big Oz fix, head over to our website, bigozexplorers.com for merch, information on our setup, places we've been, recipes, links to our socials and much more. We look forward to seeing you for a new adventure next week. Cheers guys. <laughs>